Here's a 2016 Toyota Corolla LE, 40,000 miles, one owner with a clean Carfax in red. Of course, uh, Toyota is a brand based on its reliability, its resale value, and low cost to ownership. Uh, you're going to get all of that as well as efficiency in this little Corolla. I'm going to show you a couple little highlights of it. One thing, it does have high intensity headlamps here, which is a nice feature. Driving lights in your pod there. Uh, no fog lights in the lower bumper fascia, but they do give you a black grill both on the top and bottom, which gives it a nice contrasting look. Now, this does have the, uh, the, the caps. As you can see, there are some scuffs and scrapes on the caps. That's kind of common. Uh, but the tires are good. Uh, probably has six, seven, 30 seconds, half tread or so. Also, even though you can't see through that open wheel, I'll tell you, it does have a nice uh, resurfaced uh, brake and rotor. That's one thing we really pride ourselves here at Thomas. We do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles. You can find the results of that mechanical inspection signed out by the technician that performed it in the glove box of all of our cars. As you can see here, we have a light gray cloth offset white stitching, uh, manual adjustment power seat, or passenger seat, excuse me, two bucket seats with console flows in between, a split dash, dark charcoal with dark charcoal carpeting, a little brushed aluminum accent through the center spline there. As you can see, continues through, even has a little blue here, continues throughout the door panel. Now on this uh, Corolla, it is a uh, compact uh, sedan. So, but as you can see, it does have ample leg, hip, and shoulder room here for your rear occupants. It will safely uh, transport five people. And just to show you, we do have uh, prime wells here on the back of this uh, uh, vehicle, which is the same as the front. Also, the depth is good again, half tread or better. And then the same can be said with the wheels. We've got a couple little scuffs and scrapes, but the brakes and rotors have been well surfaced, uh, resurfaced. Uh, and in in that process um, Also, I want to show you the back here. It is equipped if I can get down there low enough with a factory backup camera Which is nice. You can also see the Corolla of course in the LE badging Let's go ahead and pop the trunk here And I just want to show you how spacious even though it's in the compact segment Your trunk area is with a 4060 fold down to the rear seat if you need a little more room Let's take a peek underneath here to see oh you actually have a tire a lot of the compacts have an air pump so it's nice to know you do have a spare tire there as well as your jack tools, as you can see, all included. Now let's continue around to the driver's side rear. Again, just showing you the prime wells, all about the same depth. A couple little scrapes and scuffs on that cover as well. And then we'll give you a look at the interior from the back here. You can see uh, very clean. It rips, tears, stains, or odors. Previous owner seemed to be a non-smoker. I'm not picking up any kind of smoke odor. I do want to show you a manual adjustment on the driver's seat as well on this vehicle. And give you a quick look at the key. You see it does have the integrated fob. There's your power trunk release. Uh, that's nice. We do have two of these. And then, of course, you have your windows, locks, and mirrors all located. Excuse me. Your windows and your locks located on the door panel. The mirrors are actually right there. So let's go ahead and jump into the car. And before I turn it on, I do like to show you again on the dash. It's a copy of the auto history. You can see one owner. No accidents. And let's start it up, give you an idea what it's like to be behind the wheel. Also show you the exact miles. You can see 40,785 miles. Already showed you the mirror adjustment. There's your dimmer for your interiors. Stem to the left houses your uh, headlamp controls, high beams and turn signals. Stem to the right, intermittent wiper washers. Control pad here, audio controls on your steering wheel and your control pad uh, right here beside. You also have your mode and your reset buttons for your center. See how we can change difference here for your audio as I hit modes. It's flipping between AM, FM, things of that nature. I can go back. Uh, so those are all nice features there with your audio controls. Bluetooth is on the right. Uh, your different displays and your center screen is toggled. As you can see, instant fuel economy, distance till empty, average mile per gallon, your odometer, your tripometer is all there. Cruise control has a separate uh, stem on the lower right, about four o'clock on the clock dial. Uh, you got your AM FM satellite with single CD. Got your climate control here with automatic temperature feature. Uh, we got your USB and your audio pre in behind that door with a 12 volt power supply right beside it. Floor shifter here. Go over to sport mode. You can select any of the gears of the multi speed transmission with the ability to shut off your traction control as well. Two large cup holders, pull handle for the emergency brake little tray on top of the center console for small loose items and then a deeper well for your bigger uh, we got your LED maps flip on your dim see if we have illuminated visor we do not but let's go ahead and pop the hood take a peek underneath there
see no exhaust leaks, no fluid leaks. Inline four cylinder engine with variable valve timing. No corrosion on any of the electrical terminals. Very, uh, very well maintained. Seems to be a very clean engine compartment by the previous owner. So just like to give you a quick glimpse for all you motorheads out there. Shut the engine off and we'll get in to the next part of the video. Of course, I explained the mechanical evaluation in the glove box, the full lot of history report on the dash. Last step to making an informed buying decision. So look at the uh, body lines here, as you can see. Fascia doesn't quite line up exact with that fender. Um, it might have had the fascia off at one time. Might have a clip out there, but a couple little dings right here. I don't know if I can catch them in the light. A couple little dings right there on that A-pillar. Fender seems to be pretty decent shape. Top of the belt line, roof line seems good. Driver's door. Looks like we might have a little, couple little chips right there. But dent wise looks good. Driver's side rear looks good. Quarter panel looks fine. Bumper fascia, scratch right on the corner. A couple little nicks and scratches across the front face there. We touched few of them up as you can see as best as we can fairly long scratch there at the bottom the chips on the side up on top of the deck lids probably the worst of the damage I've seen here a couple of fairly decent sized scratches a little goober there we'll call that a goober I think that's a professional term in the car business a goober there on the side uh, deck lid looks okay. Little chip there. Quarter panel looks fine. Come a little nicks right on that body line there. Couple little chips on the side. A few little vertical scrapes there. A few more little chips and scratches on that door panel. Front fender looks pretty good. We'll mark here on that corner of that fascia and then across the front you're going to get a spattering and bug damage stone chips uh, just slowly pan across there but i'm not going to point out each individual one you can have that on any of these cars on the hood again fair enough bug damage chips minor scratches again i'll just quickly pan across pretty unavoidable so uh vehicle does still have a little remaining of the uh, powertrain warranty transferable from toyota to the next owner so you can buy this car with confidence now if you're interested there's a few ways of getting a hold of us look us up on the web at www.thomasata.com or give us a call at area code 717-485-4224 again my name is kevin richards i appreciate your time watching this video i hope you found it beneficial and i wish you an excellent day